Match FTR here with a rant you're gonna love. For once, I'm gonna talk about something positive, and what's more positive than a really, really, really terrible piece of shit, scumbag, dirtbag, vomited, maggoted, decrepit piece of diseased fucking shit to die other than the infamous pile of shit known as Fred Phelps. I figure this is not, you know, this is this is such a special time that I'm not even going to make this a regular rant. Instead, I'm going to show you guys a college presentation that a friend and I made in college in a, a religion slash cults class we were in where we talked about the Westboro Baptist <coughs> bastard church. So, I'm going to be putting the slides on the screen here. And let's begin. Slide one goes as follows. We were talking about general information. The Westboro Baptist Church, Bastard Church, was based in Topeka, Kansas. The founder or minister, Fred Gramps Phelps. He um, founded the Westboro Baptist Church. He created it, blah, blah, blah. Um, they consider themselves to be an old school Baptist church. They like to protest and uh, picket funerals of fallen soldiers. How fucking nice. U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum and events in any event that supports homosexual rights. So basically, they like to run around the United States and basically protest at anything positive. If you support soldiers, if you support gay people, and if you support Holocaust victims, then you are considered to be evil in the eyes of these lunatics, and they will protest against you. For those of you who think that the Westboro Bapt Bastard Church only hates gay people, well, they also, hit, they also hate anyone in the Holocaust, as well as the Holocaust survivors, and soldiers of the U.S. How pleasant. The next slide is an image of Fred Phelps, that bastard piece of shit. I truly hope he looks much more decrepit than he does in that photo. Hopefully now he's six feet under and is being gnawed away by maggots like he is. And slide three goes as follows. It's the history of the Westboro Bastard Church. They started as a branch of the East Side Baptist Church, which was established in 1931. In 1954, the Eastside Baptist Church hired Fred Phelps as associate pastor. Fred Phelps prompted to pastor of their new church, Westboro Baptist, which opened in 1956. After the Westboro Baptist is established, Fred Phelps broke away from the Eastside Baptist. So there's your, a little bit of uh, history of Fred Phelps himself and how this all started. Well, as you can see, it's a picture of a little boy holding two signs. One says, God hates you, and one says, you're going to hell. How nice. What a nice thing to teach your fucking children. Um, essentially, the idea here is that the Westboro Baptist Church likes to try and bring in children because they're much, much easier to brainwash than older adults are. You can tell a kid basically anything. This kid here lo looks no older than about eight or nine. You can basically tell a child anything you want, and they will believe you. Um, if you actually watch a documentary on them, I do not advise it because you will punch your computer screen. Um, you, however, if you do watch it, you will see kids just like the one you're seeing in this photo here protesting with these stupid bastards. They don't care about any. They don't care about their children or any children in the in the as part of the church. They are basically just puppets to say God hates you, God will kill you all, God hates fags, God hates soldiers, basically anything that's completely diluted you can possibly think of. And the next slide goes to the beliefs they have. They were first seen as flag bearers upholding purity values <coughs> okay, and religious faith in American society. They do not believe that Jesus died for everyone or that God loves everyone. As a matter of fact, the Westboro ba Bastard Church believes that God hates basically everybody that doesn't follow his beliefs. Um, it's why many Christians, especially the Westboro Baptist Church, is filled with deluded, psychs, uh, deluded sociopaths. They believe that God will literally he literally hates gay people and soldiers, and will condemn, condemn them to hell just for having same-sex marriages. They believe that homosexuality is a behavior and not a sexual trait, because that makes sense. If you are homosexual, or defend homosexuals, or believe in gay marriage, you will burn in hell, according to them. Nice logic. Every catastrophe is God's punishment for the growing acceptance of gay culture. Wow. Wow. Um, they also believe that every evil act is an act of God, and, you know, it couldn't possibly be an act of, you know, human nature, natural order, you know, it's just God being like, fuck you gay people, time for a hurricane. Okay, the next slide goes to, actually, this is an answering machine message, so why don't we go on YouTube and I'll play it for you. This is the actual answering machine message that will play if you call the Westboro Bastard Church. 
Right now I'm gonna call the Westboro uh, Church. calling the Westboro Baptist Church. The ministry of the Westboro Baptist Church centers around obedience to the commandments of God. He has promised to bless you if you will obey him and curse you if you will not. If you are a member of the media or are seeking an interview, press 1. If you would like general information about the Westboro Baptist Church, press 2. If you would like the time of our service and our address, press 3. If you are an American patriot, press 4. If you are in the armed forces or are calling support of the armed forces, press 5. If you are calling about gay rights, press 6. If you call yourself a preacher or a Christian, press 7. If you are a Hindu, a Buddhist, a Muslim, a Jew, or any other religious system, press 8. If you are calling for any other reason, you have 10 seconds to I'm, get your message across. I'm going to press it is 6. Something that it will be of responding to. If you are calling about gay rights, yikes, you are heading straight to hell. God hates facts. God hates fag enablers. Therefore, God hates you. You cannot change that standard of God. It doesn't matter if you can get this entire goofy, disobedient nation to agree with you. It doesn't matter how many gay pride parades you hold. God hates fags. Therefore, at this hour, when the destruction of this land is all around you, when you have turned the country over to the fags, you're all shortly coming home in body bags. The Lord is coming. America is doomed. Your only hope is to put away your idols, put away your false gods, and put away your filthy manner of life. Get a Bible. Read the words. And obey your God. Okay, well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed that vomited piece of fucking shit. That is, honest to God, the message you'll hear if you call the Westboro Baptist Church. Okay, moving on to the next slide. I have a headache. Alright, so this is um, basically how they protest. The Westboro Baptist Church protests several times a week, which I actually find quite hilarious, because I don't know if you guys are aware, but the Westboro Baptist Church is made up of one family, meaning that every single person that's part of the Westboro Baptist Church, it's under 100, by the way, every single person who's actually a part of the Westboro Baptist Church is somebody that is part of the family, meaning that they've never actually managed to recruit anybody. They go to several protests in front of many different museums and funerals, things like that. Um, and they try and get the people they're protesting to, to join them. But they've never actually once recruited anybody, which is sadly hilarious. But what I'm trying to say is that who is part of it, though, is po people who are part of a family, meaning that they are cousins, grandparents, aunts, uncles, sons, daughters, wives, husbands, things like that and friends. They're, they've never actually managed to bring in anybody. All the people that they've brought in are people that they already knew, like I said, friends and family, and said, hey, come join us because, you know, we're friends, let's, come, you know, let's, let's join together here. They've never actually managed to recruit anybody from a protest. And if you, that's hilariously funny. I mean, come on, let's, let's be real here. Anyway, the protests are not limited to Kansas. They actually put us all over the U.S., that's what I said earlier. Um, a lot of their signs say things like, thank God for AIDS. And, uh, thank God for 9-11. I'm not going to even reply to that. Okay, so here's part of the recruitment, as I was mentioning before. There are no specific recruitment methods used, except for manipulation, because they like to fuck around, like I said, how they fuck around with the kids' heads because they're young. Other than that, there's no recruitment. Uh, many current members are related in some way. That's, like I said, yeah, most everybody as part of the Baptist Church, is already somebody who's related to them, friends and family. They've never managed to recruit anybody into the church. During their protest, they welcome new members to join, although nobody ever does. Uh, Fred Phelps has been compared to Jim Jones. Um, intimidation has been used to gain members. Yeah, they, they, like I said, they like to use, uh, they like to use uh, manipulation and intimidation. 
Um, if you guys don't know who Jim Jones is, I'll basically give you a very, very little rundown. He is basically a cult leader from a long time ago. If you guys ever heard the little stereotype about drinking the Kool-Aid, that, um, that came from Jim Jones. He's actually really interesting. You guys should actually look up a Jim Jones documentary on YouTube. I suggest you watch it. It's very interesting, but that's not the point of this. Again, here are some more examples of signs. We have God blew up the shuttle. God hates America. God hates bag enablers. And all and the people in the photo, as you can tell, I believe all three of them are children. Of course they are. Okay, and that is the last of my slides. For those of you who didn't have any information, I didn't even know what the Westboro Baptist Church was, I hope now you have a quick little rundown of who exactly they are and what they do. As you can see, they are absolutely disgusting, horrible people, and I truly hope the Westboro Bastard Church uh, now spins down a shitty diarrhea-filled toilet now that their little hero, Fred fucking Phelps, is now dead. Dude, we are so happy, and I hope you rest in piss. And now... A message from a friend of mine who is a longtime viewer and hates the Westboro Baptist Church himself. I believe he'd like to say a few words. No? Take it away, buddy. Let's get into this video. So, Fred Phillips or Fred Phelps or whatever the hell he guy's name is, the leader of the Baptist Church, passed away five days ago, was it? I'm going to come out right and say it. I don't care what the haters think. Because I know all of Matt's fans here, they're good people. They don't judge. I'm gay. I came out gay two months ago. And to be honest with you, when Fred died, I knew nothing about him. I am not a religious person at all. But I, know, I knew a lot of people were making a big deal out of him and ranting and stuff and cussing him out. And, you know, I did a, kind of a little bit of research on him. And, you know, he's just... I heard he did some pretty bad stuff, and, you know, it's a shame of really what he did. I mean, he, he founded the Baptist Church, and he hated gays. He even hated U.S. soldiers, military men. I mean, it's just, he's asinine. But, you know, I'm glad he's dead. I truly am. But at the same time, I know there's still a lot of people out there like him. Um, but what can you do? I mean, he was a man, kind of. He was a man that had his own beliefs, and he really took them strongly. And he really tried to go out there more to share his beliefs. A lot of people hated it, but a lot of people followed him for it. And the Baptist Church ain't over yet. His daughter is gonna run it. Um, so, but hopefully things will change now. You know, coming from me being gay, I have family members that are gay. Um, you know, it hurts them, and I feel really bad for them. But at the same time, we just got to move on with our lives, you know? We just got to hope for the better, you know? So, that's my thoughts, really. I don't know too much about him, but I do know something about him. He was a sick psychopath, and I'm glad that his words could be rotting in hell or wherever he is right now. So, bye.